first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, <clears throat> who rule well and who has the 100% truth, whom we're constantly learning from. This is for the whole free elect of Israel. Who are you? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations that may look like the other nations. This word resonates with you and your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawa. He exists, He is, He to be. The name must be his beloved son is Yahweh Shot. Yah is he, Yahweh Shot, the Savior, he the deliverer. And his only only begotten son, Yahweh Shot, our Lord and Savior, is who we are looking for to come in these last days. Okay. And as you see that rusty chain. That's how the enemy is. That's how who that's who's running this earth that Jake trusts, you know. Northern and Southern Kingdom. They trust in this rusted, this rusted demon, you know. These rusted devils, they trust in them. Okay. They trust in them. So with, with that being said, uh, just like they're probably going to pass that, uh, if they haven't passed it already, that uh, debt uh, selling bill, you know, so these people can get their money, so everybody get their money and whatnot, pay these bills. And, but see, that goes to show you that uh, if this place was righteous, it wouldn't have to be that way. But these people are wicked, and Jake trusts in these people. And that's going to be their demise, okay? It's so right, 12 and 10. Ecclesiasticus, the Apocrypha. The book they took out, the Bible, because they it had too much information. And, and, and this book exposes them more of who they are and who we are as the history. This whole book of the Apocrypha, Apocrypha adds on. It's around 12 and 10. And it reads, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted so is his wickedness. Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go, and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Okay? And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. You know, so we come at you, I'm going to give you this reparations. I'm going to give you that food stamps. I'm going to give you this, this free money. I'm going to give you that, this, and the third. There's something behind that that's purely wicked and evil. And it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. And at the end, Revelation 13, 16, the karatma, you take it, you're going to die. Period. Ain't no coming back from that. Revelation 13, 16, Revelation 14, uh, 9 on down, you know. You're not going to come back from that. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt note that his brush has not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee. 
lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou as last, and thou and, and thou then thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. Okay, remember those these words. They should be. You should be thinking every time you see this devil. You should be thinking every time he offers you something. You should be thinking. This man is wicked. Okay. Verse 12. Set him not by thee least. When he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand. Lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Because if you don't be pricked, you will be, but it's gonna be too late. 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent? Or any such as come nigh a wild beast? Because that's what he is. And when you do, when you listen to him and go, and go up under him, look, you're going to pay for it. You know, I heard the apostles, you know, this great mills going to talk about this. Let me see, see if I can remember about the uh, parable of the. Uh, Scorpion riding on a uh, frog, trying to get trying to get across the river, and uh, uh, he told the frog, "Can I get a ride?" You know, and uh, the, the frog said, "You a scorpion, man? You got a stinger, man? I'm, I'm scared of getting stung." You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing. So the frog said, "You'll be all right." You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, the scorpion told the frog, uh, uh, "You'll be all right. I'm not gonna sting you." You know. So the scorpion hopped on the frog back. The frog started to hop, skip, and jump across that pond. And guess what happened? The scorpion stung him. You know? The scorpion stung him. You know? And how the rest go? Uh, uh, and the frog said, uh, Why did you stung me? You told me you weren't going to sting me. You weren't going to sting me. And, uh, uh, I think the scorpion said, you knew I was a scorpion. You knew I had a stinger. You can't change, you know, roughly paraphrase, you can't change the nature. You can't change the nature that it was created for. You can't change that. So as Esau, you know, so-called white man, you can't change that either. Proverbs 3 and 31. Yeah, you get it. Blue letter. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the forward is abomination to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. But his secret is with the righteous. Okay? Verse 33, the curse of the Heavenly Father Yahweh is in the house of the wicked. But he blesses the habitation of the just. And who is the just? These days right now, the just would be the elect of Israel. Okay? And who are they? Those are be those will be the men that out there in the highways and byways proclaiming the true name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai also out there prophesying, preaching and teaching the true doctrine okay apostles and elders of great millstone that was handed down to them through their elders and all of this come from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, sir. Okay. Micah 2 and 1.
walked to them that devised iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand iniquity is sin upon sin no Micah 201 woe which is destruction to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is the power of their hands yeah because they can do this because they're the rulers right now over the earth, the rich and elite banking families. So God, white man, he saw Edom. They are the, they are in rulership right now, so they can they create all the laws. And these laws are wicked because they are wicked. So as the rulers, so as the people. Okay. Joel 9.24 And it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, not where and who is he? Okay. You tell me. His face is on that dollar bill. Okay. They got the images of Caesar, uh, Caesar Bourget. Okay. A white blonde, so called white blonde headed, and a, a, a feminine looking dude that they claim is the Heavenly Father. They got these little naked babies as angels, and they are white. And the whole world was worshiping those things, you know. I call them things. Job 9, 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, covered the faces of the judges thereof. Not where and who is it? Okay. Malachi 1 and 4. Start the first verse, the burden of the word of the Holy Father Yahweh to Israel by Malachi, prophet Malachi. I have loved you, said the Holy Father Yahweh. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Okay, was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Holy Father Yahweh? Yet I love Jacob. Now let's get this right. Esau represents the Edomites. Esau, Edom. Jacob represents the Israelites. Okay? Which is you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. Okay? And LT. I have always loved you, said the Lord. Because Jake talking about where, well, how, how, how are we going through? How come, how come you get to the, the Heavenly Father love us? Look what we're going through. Yeah, because you didn't listen. You didn't listen, you're still not listening because you ain't, you, you ain't want to hear that you sin. And that's why you're in this condition that you're in, Jake. Verse 3, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his hair just waste for the dragons of the wilderness. The NLT, but I rejected his brother Esau and devastated his hill country. I turned Esau's inheritance into a desert for jackals. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are in province, but we will return and build the desolate place. How did they return? They returned after they came about, after they came up out of doing the Dark Ages, so called Dark Ages, when we had them on the foot, they came up out of that. After a thousand years, right? Or so they came up out of that. As soon as they came up out of that, that's when you when you get like iconoclasm, the rebirth, you know. And what they done, they covered the faces of the judges. You know, they stopped changing the images that were painted, you know, to their images. You know, they start they start putting their own wicked philosophies into play, you know. And that's what happened. 
Verse 4, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, hath indignation forever. Indignation forever. So, so called why man, you saw Edom, the bitch need to eat banging from you're still here. You're still here. You're not done away with. You're still here. And you're going to be destroyed here. The Heavenly Father's going to destroy you. Okay. Book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus. And we're going to go to the 40th verse. 40th chapter. First verse. Great travail is created for every man. And a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. See, everybody came from Adam. But you also had a chosen to see out of Adam. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. Verse 2, their imagination, their imagination of things to come. In the day of death, trouble their thoughts and cause fear of heart from him that sitteth on the throne of glory. That's, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But to him that is... No... Let me read that again. Verse 3. For him that sitteth on the throne of glory, that's the rulership, but to him that is humble in earth and ashes, and that's the low. You know, that's your kings and your kings and your rulers. And the subjects under them. From him that wear a purple and a crown, and to him that is clothed with a linen frock. Wrath and envy. Trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, and in a time of rest upon his bed, his night sleep. Do change his knowledge. Verse 6 A little or nothing is his rest, and afterwards he is in his sleep, as in a day of keeping watch, trouble in the visions of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. When all is safe, he awakened and marveled that the fear was nothing. Okay. Verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and swore, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. Verse 10, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. So, that's why the flood came, because of the wicked. But see, this flood is going to be, it's going to be a flood above them, but it's going to be the flood of the thermonuclear ICBM missiles. That's what's going to flood this place. And the warning is out there, so whether they heat it or not. It's going to come. Verse 11, all things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again, and that which is of the waters doth return unto the sea. Okay. All bribery and bribery and injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealings, true dealings shall endure forever. The gods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river. That's these idol gods. All these idol gods that these people have. And that Jake worship with, with them. All of this is going to be put to rest. Permanently. Sirach 40 and 13. The gods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river. and shall vanish with noise. Like a great thunder in brain. Verse 14. While he opened it. While he opened it. His hand he shall rejoice. So shall the transgressors come to naught. Okay? 
So that's what's that's what's getting ready to happen soon. Okay, that's what's getting ready to happen soon. My contender tier. Wait a minute. What was that? Well, they crease the asses. Something happened. Let's see. Crease the asses. Seven. Go to eight first. Start at the eight. And it reads, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. Wait a minute. Yep. Be not, in the ninth, uh, ninth verse, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rested in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. So you can't look back. You can't not look back. This place is getting getting ready to get destroyed by your Hawabas and your Hawasai. Regardless, they pass this build and could, with the debt ceiling thing, you know, and you're still getting your checks and this, this, that, and the third. We have to use the world but not abuse it in the first place. You know, because this is not our rest. Okay? You know? So you don't want to look back. Look what happened to our, our last wife. She looked back. She looked back. You know? So you don't want to do that. She said, I thought, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou does not inquire wisely concerning this. Okay. Go to Apocrypha, second answers. Fifth verse. Start at the first verse. And it reads, Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come. Now, this is Esther speaking of, uh, talking to an angel of Uriel about the tokens of the times of the end. And I'm about to read it. Because we're at the end right now. Second Exodus 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as come in the tokens, behold, the days shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Okay? But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. Or that thou hast heard long ago. Okay? And the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. And you're seeing all this, and you still got some life here. You know, you still got things going on. People still going to these little concerts and whatnot, all of that. But all that stuff about to be done with, done away with, you know? It's about to be done away with. Let's go down to the A first. There shall be a confusion also in many places. What's that confusion? That confusion is lack of understanding. That confusion is is what it means, confusion, lack of understanding, darkness. Also in many places in the fire shall be all sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change, change their places. The mistress woman so bring forth monsters. Mistress women bringing forth monsters. I'm talking about these, you got these uh, uh, GMO uh, babies, these, these GMO babies, they, they, they out here on the wild, they, they, they wilding out. They killing each other and everybody. You know, robbing, stealing, killing. They doing things that, that you haven't even, that you wouldn't even believe. You know, but they out here because of these, this, this place is done. This place is done. But look who's in charge. Job 9, 24. Okay. 
And salt, in verse 9, 2 Corinthians 5 and 9, salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall uh, we hide thyself, we hide thyself, and understanding with draw himself into his secret chamber. Okay? This, and, and salt water shall be found in the sweet. That's meaning, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be mixing the truth with lies. You know, the truth of the scripture with lies. They're doing that now. You know, they're telling you that uh, uh, hell is not, hell is, but you burn forever. They, they, they're mixing the, they're mixing the Christianity lies with the two. And it's confusing, it's confusing the people and they're going to, they're going to be judged for that. You know, they're going to be judged for that. Ninth person, again, and salt water shall be found in the sweet and our friends shall destroy one another. Then shall with, with hide itself and understanding with draw itself into the secret chamber. Verse 10, and shall be solemn many and, and yet not be found. Then shall the unrighteous and incon incontinency be multiplied upon earth. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a, you know, nobody gonna have no understanding of nothing. You know, they're gonna be it's gonna be chaos, anarchy. Verse 11, one land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that make it a man righteous God through thee? And it, and it shall say no. Verse 12, at the same time shall man hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. Okay? So this thing is coming to an end. Okay? It's coming to an end and The wicked, these are even so-called white men, recently leave beggar families. But however they do, that you think is good, ain't no good in them. You trust it in them, you're gonna you're gonna pay for it. Okay, you're gonna pay for it. I'm trying to find another scripture, but I can't. So, second as a six, we're gonna go to the ninth verse. Concerning the tokens, okay, and, and this is you know you, you told them them the tokens, and he got he got an important token that everybody should know, okay, everybody should know this token because we at the end, and it's gonna tell you. Second Ezra six starts the ninth verse. No. We're going to start at the uh, sixth verse. Second Ezra 6 and 6. Then did I consider these things? You're talking about the tokens I just told you. Then I consider these things and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by none other. Verse 7. Then as I and said, what shall be the party asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it verse 8 and he said it to me from Abraham and to Isaac when Jacob and Esau was born of him Jacob's hand held fast I mean Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau let me read it again 2nd Ezra 6 and 8 and he said it to me 
from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand first held the heel of Esau. In verse 9, point. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So, we at the end of this thing, okay? We just got to hold on and endure. Okay? Okay, now I, I remember that scripture. Now came back to me the way you have about some your harvest side. Micah 2 and 10 Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you with the sore destruction verse 11 if a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie saying I will prophesy unto thee a wine and strong drink he shall even be the prophet of his of this people I will surely assemble old Jacob all, all of thee I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, which is the capital city, and AKA America is that city today, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of a multitude of men. NLT, 12 verse, hope for restoration. And that's what we hope for, and, and I hope of one of those men, along with the other Akim, and the, the, the one that are men, women, and children. Hope of restoration. Someday, O Israel, I will gather you. I will gather the remnant who I love. I will bring you together again like sheep in a pen, like a flock in a pasture. Yes, your land will again be filled with noisy crowds. Verse 13, the breaker has come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out of it, and their king shall pass before them. And the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, side on the head of them. So that's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh, side leading us out of this wicked kingdom, this wicked kingdom, this. Job 924. Okay, we at the end. And again, our Lord and Savior your homicide is who are, who are we are looking for to come in these last days. Okay? Because we at the end. Second Timothy. Three. Start at the first verse. There's no also that in the last day perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despises those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh side having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. Okay? Turn away from them. Turn away from them. Verse 5 in the NLT. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Verse 6. For of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captivity, silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. You know, see, these are the kind who work their way to people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by various 
desires, which is sex and this and that, you know, we're seven ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Such women are forever following new techniques, but they are never able to understand the truth, okay? I'm just, you know, I'm just reading that because it's reveling. It's all reveling. Going on to the tenth verse. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, loss, suffering, charity, patience. NLT, but you, Timothy, certainly know what I teach and how I live and what my purpose in life is. You know my faith, my patience, my love, and my endurance. Okay? Verse 11. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch. That's uh, Paul talking to Timothy. And that goes for us. This this day, because this, this is for our learning. Verse 11, persecutions, afflictions, which came to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them, all the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemia, Hawashai, delivered me. And that's why we got to endure, because out of all that is coming, and we got to go through, we're going to be delivered out of here. In any case, we stay the course run the race, be all right. Verse 12, yeah. And all that will live godly in Yahweh Shahamashiach shall suffer persecution. Okay. The 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. These other... Israelites, you know, that some of them GMO babies, you know, they just stayed, they, they, they didn't got angry and left the, the fall and went off doing their own thing and couldn't stand rebuke, re reproof, none of that. They didn't correct themselves, so they made themselves an enemy of the Hababah Shemir Hawashai. Verse 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Deceive and deceive right here. That's, that's roughly paraphrasing. Verse 14, but continue thou and the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Apostles, elders, great millstone, teach us on down. Okay. You know, Heavenly Father, Yahweh gave you that mercy to open your ears and your eyes to understand. You want to keep that understanding. You want to, you, you, you take, you take, you take the reproof. You take the, the, the uh, correction. Deal with it. Move on. You know, deal with it in a righteous way. Correct yourself. And these things I say, I say to myself first and foremost. Verse fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. And has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Verse 15, and, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh. Verse 16. All scriptures given by inspiration of the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 17, that the man of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh, so may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all works. Okay? And that's the point. That's the point. We have a job to do, and I understand that for myself. That's learning, learning what I teach, teach what I learn. Walk in what I learned so I can teach. You no. Know, you don't want to teach with a blind eye, okay? In the last verse.
And it reads, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The water to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to bring this up. Again, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakat Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and has a, and who have a, who has the hundred percent too. From the uh, elder apostles, bishop, teachers on down, and to the Akim and Aqua, who sincerely subscribe to the truth. Salam.